Hey everybody, happy day before Thanksgiving and happy holiday season. Um, Ashley and I want to shoot a quick video to help give you guys a bunch of tips, tricks, and ideas on how to navigate uh, this next few weeks up until the new year and uh, just continue to be moving forward on your goals. So we're going to be covering a bunch of things that are going to help you just continue to thrive through the holidays. Uh, many of you guys, we've actually already connected on goals and it's been really great to plan ahead. Um, if you're watching this and we haven't connected with you yet, feel free to reach out. If you got new goals that you want to formulate, we want to connect with you on them. So really excited about all you guys uh, looking forward uh, to those next few weeks ahead. So wanted to start off with some uh, before and after examples because it's always good to remember that we're in process of our goals and how far we've come and where we want to go to envision our own journey. It's really good to be able to look forward and see what it is you want to accomplish because it's pretty powerful seeing the change in yourself and knowing where you're going. So one thing we want to cover, many of you guys know, is Many people this time of year are thinking the holidays are a difficult time to move forward in your health when it's really not. And I know most of you guys already know that because you guys are already just saying, hey, moving forward. I'm not even really, you know, why would I even stop? But just to kind of revisit just the thought process on it is, you know, some people will be like, oh, I'll just wait till after the holidays. Um, when really there's no reason to do that. The holidays are just three days when you really think about it. It's uh, Thanksgiving, New Year's, and Christmas. And actually some of those days can actually be turned into goals because if you're starting to think about like, hey, five weeks from now, where I can be and what you want to be doing on New Year's and who you're going to be seeing, it turns into a motivator. So start thinking about things like that and planning ahead uh, like most of you guys have been doing. So with that being said, some of the most important things is that you just have a plan for your holiday season because it doesn't matter really what your plan is. Um, as long as it's true to what your goal is and what you want to accomplish, then you can have a plan and then you can work on that plan for this particular season. So you know, if you get a second, grab a piece of paper and ask yourself, what would be your ideal outcome during this season going into the holidays? Going in between the new year and now, where do I want to be at that time? What will it feel like? Why is it important to me? Why is it a big deal? And how powerful will it be if I accomplish that? And write this down and actually take pictures of it and remind yourself. Even send yourself, um, you know, notifications from your, um, from your Outlook. Um, put a pictures on your desktop where you drive. Um, you know, next to your steering wheel, things to remind you to stay on track and what you want to do during the season so you don't get distracted. But um, the most important thing is that we make a plan because there's multiple things you can do during the season to focus on your health. And I'm going to focus here on a few different options that you have. Uh, and this is going to be more for the weight loss phase people, people that are moving towards their ideal weight and body composition, but this still will be just as powerful for the people that are watching it that have already hit their goal weights and have already moved on to their next level of optimizing their health um, because it's just, just we all need to navigate healthy choices. So there's going to be a lot of great tips for you if you're already beyond your weight loss um, goal. Um, but just going over this, basically just three options um, to cover here. So I'm just going to go over them real quick is uh, option one, staying on the five and one plan. And obviously the benefits are going to be just obviously you're going to feel great. You're going to have more energy because you're going to be in a fat burning and uh, you'll have more time because it's easy to do meal preps. There's a lot less time uh, shopping for food, um, prepping food. And so you're going to have more times and um, energy for your loved ones. Um, you're going to be losing weight and feeling better um, for holiday gatherings, which is great. You're going to be hitting your goals and moving forward and feeling great. And you're not going to be uh, gaining that seven to eight or five to eight pounds the average person gains through the holiday season. So, um, you know, you'll be having lower hunger and um, less cravings that uh, usually make it, or can make uh, this holiday season somewhat difficult with the different events that are coming up. So that's one option, and that's great. And that's actually what most of you guys have chosen to do, which is great. The next option is pretty much the same thing, but it's kind of like, would you like to make a compromise? So option two is staying on plan. Uh, moving forward on your goal, but strategically picking some days that uh, or events or whatever the case may be that you're going to choose to um, have a little bit of leeway um, on your plan um, so that you know that they're coming up. You're not going to sweat them. And whatever the case may be, maybe you uh, are traveling that day or maybe um, you have a tradition that uh, you watch out for and um, it may make it a little bit easier. You just want to say to yourself, hey, I'm not really going to sweat those days and uh, make it really easy on myself. So let's go over some of the plus and minuses of that. Um, one is uh, plus is you're going to keep losing weight through this process. Um, the days during the weeks that you choose to um, have those events, um, you're not going to be losing as much. Obviously, you're going to be a little bit less weight loss than if you were fully on plan. Um, you will need to get back into fat burning mode following that. So that's something to think about. 
Um, and you'll also need to prepare yourself because once you open up that door, it can easily lead to, um, you know, not getting back on track. So you just have to be mentally prepared for that. So um, this is a great viable option. And one of the plus sides is, is any temptations that come up during this time of year is if you mentally plan for those days that come up and prepare for them and giving yourself those leeway, anything that comes up out of the blue, you're going to be like, oh, I don't need that right now because I'm going to be having this in a few days. And, you know, maybe it's five or six days away, whatever your event is. And it's going to be easier to say, hey, I don't need that right now. I'm going to stop, challenge, and choose the result I want, which is a great tip for this as the middle of this little video here is asking yourself things that pop up, is it worth it? Using the stop, challenge technique, I'm sorry, stop, challenge, choose technique that Dr. Ray talks about in the Habits of Health and um, going over um, each scenario that tempts us and saying, hey, I'm going to stop. No one's putting any pressure on me. I can do whatever it is I want to do. And now that I can do whatever I want, I got a blank slate in front of me. I'm going to choose the result that uh, ultimately gets me to where I want to go. So do I want what's tempting me or do I want to say, I don't really need that right now and push forward and be empowered to make a healthier choice. And when you do that and take that 10 seconds and take that deep breath, nine times out of 10, you're going to be feeling just fine and you're going to be glad you made that healthy decision. And it's also because you've made it too. Um, here's option three is would you consider it a success to go into an optimizing your health mode, kind of a post weight loss mode. So doing the things that we practice uh, and learn from being on plan, which is like eating six times a day, uh, using portion control, uh, making healthy choices, using meal replacements um, that we use day in, day out to structure our day, get plenty of protein and nutrition in, and uh, make sure that we're eating and feeding our body. Uh, pluses to this is you're not going to be gaining uh, the normal five to eight pounds. You might even be losing a few pounds. You're probably not going to lose that much. Um, you're going to be practicing your next phase of health during this time period. Um, it's going to be easy to do, and um, this is just a really good way to just say, hey, for this particular season, I don't know, maybe you're traveling or whatever the case may be or, you know, whatever it is, um, is you're saying, I'm not during, during this time is I'm just going to take a healthy routine to my uh, weight loss. I'm not just going to say I'm going to do whatever. You're making it a point to practice that next level of health. So um, you're not gaining that five to eight pounds, uh, but you're not going to be doing, uh, you're losing like you would have if you're staying true throughout the holidays. So most of you guys in connecting with you have actually chosen just to kind of go ahead. Maybe a few of you have chose like I have a few days that I might consider um, doing a modified uh, day on. So I'm really proud of you guys for thinking ahead. And these are pretty much your, your three options that you have. It makes it really easy. So the most important thing is that you guys have a plan um, and going into this season and knowing what you want to do. Um, so some things to consider is that really when you break it down, there's only 210 meal choices that you have to make if you're eating six times a day between now and the new year. And really, if you think about it, there's only five to six times where you really have to plan ahead, whether it's Thanksgiving, Christmas, Christmas Eve, New Year's, or like a uh, party between now and the new year. So out of 210 choices, you really only have to plan ahead for maybe five or six if you're kind of social during this time. So just something to think about that it's really not that big of a hurdle. So, um, you know, you took out that piece of paper. Here's a really good example of actually putting down on paper and practicing what we call structural tension, which is in Dr. Ray's Habits of Health. It's also covered in Dr. Ray's Stop, Challenge, Juice ebook. But essentially it means that at the top, we list what we want, what our next goal is. And you want to make this measurable and you want to put it in a time period. Uh, like for instance, you know, I want to stay true to program and I want to be down an additional 15 pounds by January 1. Maybe throw in some additional things like size down, feeling better, um, et cetera, et cetera. Things that are tangible that you can achieve. Then at the bottom, you want to put where you're at and then steps along the way that will help you get to where you want to go so you can execute that plan. And that's what structural tension looks like. So, and the reason why we do this and the reason why we plan ahead is because a goal without a plan is really just a wish. And what we want to do is we want to be prepared because it doesn't matter if you're in the weight loss phase of uh, optimizing your health or, uh, you know, moving to the next phase through transition or 20 years down the road, we always are down the road. We always have a plan for our health. And I think most of us are learning that right now that it never just happens we have to create a plan that's going to help us get to where we want to go. So right now we're going to cover just a few things. And Ashley and I wanted to keep this really short, you know, about 12 to 13 minutes so you guys could have it as a reference. But um, we're going to go over nine tips to keep health a priority in your mindset. And then follow it up with 10 tips of things you can do um, to just enjoy this next little period uh, and tips and tricks to uh, 
really enjoy this season and maybe some gatherings that are coming up. So number one is give yourself grace. Things are going to pop up, and if uh, things just get off to the side a little bit, give yourself grace, adjust, and move forward. Uh, number two is make a plan and for this season, basically the structural tension chart that we just went over. Three is make sure your plan is realistic. If the goal is really not obtainable or you're not really visualize yourself doing it, then the goal is never really real in the first place and you're less um, uh, likely to push through for it. Uh, number four is anticipate each event coming up. Number five is tighten up your home court and practice your stop, challenge, choose uh, technique over this season. Uh, number six is uh, gift yourself healthy activities, create incentives for you for you to do really well during the season. Number seven is celebrate your victories along the way um, on scale and non-scale. And more importantly, non-scale because it's uh, more than just the weight loss that's coming up. But that'll be great to see that progress. Number eight is uh, process what happens and look for areas to improve habits. If you have constant hurdles that are coming up, those are old habits that you're trying to break. And we want to focus on those and start creating new habits that will replace those old habits. And number nine is to adjust and adapt to anything that goes on. And here, so that's some mindset things that will help you during the season. Number, t uh, These are 10 tips that will help you um, just navigate the season that you can enjoy during parties and whatnot um, during this season. So one is plan ahead and write down what you want to do. Take pictures of it, like I said, and uh, put it as your iPhone backup. You know, multiple reminders of what you want to do. And that way, you remind yourself that you chose that you want to do it. Number two is have a water bottle with you at all times. When you're drinking more water, you're more full. And um, also, you're less likely to do mindless grazing if you got a water bottle in your hand. Uh, number three is club soda with lime and cucumber. Always make a great party drink. You can also add, uh, you know, crystal light or like neo uh, flavor additive to it to spice it up a little bit. Uh, number four is uh, eat, meet your meals or your lean and green before going to events. So you go to a, a event on a full stomach, um, less likely to, um, you know, give in to temptations while you're there. Uh, number five is, is if you haven't ordered this gingerbread soft bake yet, utilize them. They are amazing and they are perfect for this time of year. You can even make them ahead of time and take them to an event where you want your treat, your holiday treat. Uh, here's another tip with that one is if you haven't done this yet, take the gingerbread soft bake and mix it with like a, a half a packet of that, half a packet of a vanilla um, shake and mix it together with ice and water till it's really thick and like a smoothie. It's super good. It's probably the best milkshake ginger um, tasting thing you could ever have. Number six is bring healthy dishes to the events uh, you enjoy and so everyone can enjoy them with you. Um, basically, you know, bring a dish that's going to be fun. If you haven't yet, uh, pop into the Optimal Health support page, Optimal Health 247. There's tons of recipes that you can bring that people will enjoy and you can also um, enjoy at the parties. Um, number seven is mashed cauliflower is amazing. Great substitute for any meal that you normally would have with mashed potatoes. And number eight is uh, if you don't have the TSFL gravy, uh, you can also use chicken noodle soup and take out the noodles and uh, all the little um, little carrots or things that are in there and make gravy out of that mix. Uh, number nine is uh, buy an outfit that you can wear to an upcoming event. There'll be extra motivation. And then plus, once you're at that event, it'll be tr helpful for you to stay on track because you're you know enjoying the process and reminding yourself of how far you've come and why you're doing what you're doing. Number seven is top, coffee goes well with any shake. You can combine it with um, um, vanilla, Dutch chocolate, mocha, uh, calorie burn, cappuccino, chai latte. Any of those ones are fantastic, and they make a great uh, drink. You can even just go to Starbucks and then mix it in. It's, it's fantastic. And then on top of that is holiday teas are a great must uh, during this time. It's cold out. We want to warm up, and teas are totally on plant, so um, enjoy those. So those are just some things that you can do during the season to really spruce up your plan, um, stay focused, but also enjoy this time of year and all the relationships. So enjoy yourself, enjoy family and friends, and cherish every moment. And that's the way you don't only have to survive this holidays, you can thrive and really enjoy it. I'm also going to um, invite you guys to take one more step further in your health with this final um, insight, is as you're going into all your family gatherings and seeing everybody, um, set a really good example as far as health, not only for yourself because you're doing great, but do it in a way that invites others to join you because obviously in America, we've lost our way as far as um, our health goes and obviously our numbers don't really show us um, living a healthy lifestyle. So you're doing something uh, that not much Americans do is you're 
practicing a healthy lifestyle. So pick out people that are on your heart that you would like to see get healthy and maybe discuss that with us over the next little bit, whether it's just making a change or joining you on program to start living their healthy lifestyle and, and move towards their health. So um, that'd be something for you to practice as well as when you actually teach others to become healthy with you, that's when you actually learn what you're doing twice and you really own your health journey. So those are all the holiday tips. I hope you guys have a great time uh, tomorrow and through the holiday season. And um, lastly, I'll give you guys uh, this last little tidbit. We got our next um, online health event coming up in January. It's called the Healthy Games, and uh, it's going to be lots of fun. I know many of you guys really enjoyed the last one. It's going to be even more prizes, more fun, and um, look forward to you guys joining in on that with us and even starting it way further along your journey than you are now. So have a great holiday season, and um, let's uh, thrive throughout the holidays. Night, everybody. <laughs>